Finally, after three years of no spec updates and eight years, eight years guys, of no design changes, we finally have a brand new MacBook Air. And this is a really big change from the previous generation in every single way. So here's my unboxing and my initial thoughts on the 2018 MacBook Air. Okay, so taking a look at the box itself on the front, uh, we have literally the exact same image of the MacBook Air like the previous generation box had. So that's a very nice throwback and a very nice Easter egg. Then we have a MacBook Air logo on the top and the bottom and the Apple logo on the right and left, which actually matches the color of the MacBook Air that's inside. So mine's the space gray option, reason why the Apple logo and the MacBook Air text shine in space gray. So that's pretty cool. Finally on the back, we get a listing of the specs and inside the box, we get the MacBook Air itself. And whoa, this thing, this thing is heavier than I expected. We also get a booklet designed by Apple in California. And inside that, we get a quick start guide, which tells you all the essentials, a pair of yes, color matching Apple stickers this time. We got space gray stickers. It's funny how Apple only does this with a 12 inch MacBook, the 13 inch MacBook Air, but not a MacBook Pro or something like the iPhone XR or any other Apple devices apart from the Mac Pro and the iMac Pro, which are actually considered Pro devices by Apple. But then again, the 6,000 pound, you know, i9, 32 gigabytes of RAM MacBook Pro is also a Pro device, yet it doesn't get color matching Apple stickers. So yeah, do watch my 30 plus Apple inconsistencies video if you want to know more about, you know, similar issues inconsistency issues with Apple. We also get a warranty and a safety guide. And aside from this, we get a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, a 30 watt USB Type-C power adapter, just like the one we get with a 12 inch MacBook. And we also get a power head, the power adapter head. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so back to the MacBook here. Let's just remove that plastic wrap. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, love that noise. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the 2018 MacBook Air? Well, I've already done a 20 things you didn't know video, so do check that video out in case you missed it and you want to know more, you want to know more interesting things about this MacBook. But in this video, I wanted to test out some of my concerns that I had with the MacBook Air. So first of all, the form factor. So the new MacBook Air looks and feels exactly like the 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's got the same width, the same height. The only difference is the thickness. The Air has this uh, wet shape design, whereas the MacBook Pro has a flat squared off frame. And then the second difference is in terms of the weight. So here's the thing. The Air is lighter than the MacBook Pro 13 inch by 120 grams, but it's 330 grams heavier when compared to the 12 inch MacBook. So this was literally the first thing that I've noticed when I took the MacBook Air out of the box, that it was much heavier than I was expecting. In terms of the weight, like I said, the new MacBook Air feels very similar to the 13 inch MacBook Pro rather than the 12 inch MacBook. And then my second concern was actually the display. So, you know, the MacBook Air has a 300 nit display panel versus 500, uh, such as the MacBook Pro has. So it's not as bright. Also, it's not a DCI-P3 display. So yeah, I wanted to see if I could really tell the difference between those two in terms of the brightness and the color. And the answer is yes, I could actually tell a difference, but only when I put those two side by side. When I took the MacBook Air out of the box, I was actually surprised to see how bright the display was. So when compared to the Pro, yes, it is dimmer and the colors do not pop as much. Much. But realistically, if you're a customer just buying this, uh, you know, it's got a great display with great viewing angles and you really won't have any issues with this. Other than that, it's very similar to the MacBook Pro 13 inch. We get two Thunderbolt 3 ports on the left hand side, a headphone jack on the right. Um, honestly, I wasn't really expecting to see Thunderbolt 3 ports on the MacBook Air, but this is this is great. We can now connect a 5K monitor to this thing, eGPUs and get, you know, proper GPUs in this thing, desktop class GPUs if you want to do that. Um, Thunderbolt 3 storage and more. So this for me is the best part about having a MacBook Air. And compared to the baseline 13 inch Pro, we also get the T2 processor, which handles the disk encryption in real time, the microphones, the camera, the boot sequence, and many more. We also get a Touch ID sensor, which we don't get with a 13 inch baseline MacBook Pro. So in the end, the real question is, is the MacBook Air 2018 worth it over the 13 inch baseline MacBook Pro? Keep in mind that a 13 inch MacBook Pro is only 50 pounds more than the Air. So the price difference here is really minimal. Well, with a Pro, we get a better display, a brighter display, DCI-P3, so also better colors. We also get better performance with a Pro, a full U-series i5 processor versus a low-power 7-watt Y-series processor. But then the Air also comes with Touch ID, a better keyboard with third-generation butterfly mechanism, so I can actually type much easier and faster, as well as the T2 processor for extra security. And then the MacBook Air also gives you up to 12 hours of battery versus 10 hours on the MacBook Pro. And then the speakers are 
okay. So yeah, compared to the MacBook Pro ones, well, there's not really any comparison between the two. <laughs> The iPhone XS Max. So this has been my daily driver, my daily iOS driver for more than a month now. And not only that, but I've done multiple videos on the channel on the XS Max already. The MacBook Air is louder, but that's pretty much it. So in the end, here's, here's the thing. Um, if you need a better keyboard, a better battery life, then get a MacBook Air. But if you need a better performance on the go and better display on the go for editing photos and videos, then get the MacBook Pro. Also, Apple needs to fix their inconsistencies in terms of the naming scheme, because right now it's still a mess. The new MacBook Air, you remember when Air was the name for, you know, it was called the Air because it was the thinnest MacBook, but still we have the 12 inch MacBook, which is the thinnest one. So that should be called the MacBook Air. Huh, <laughs> you're Apple. 100 plus Apple inconsistencies video coming soon. But yeah, let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this brand new 2018 MacBook Air. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's not? And would you ever use those two Thunderbolt 3 ports? I feel like Apple could have obviously decreased, lowered the price by not having those two Thunderbolt 3 ports. They give you more options, obviously. They're great to have, but pros need Thunderbolt 3. And I feel like the MacBook Air isn't really targeted towards pros. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this. Do subscribe and notifications if you're new to the channel and you want to see more in-depth videos like this one. This wasn't really that in-depth, but yeah, I'll be doing more MacBook Air videos in the next few days, so definitely stay tuned for those. Join the zone if you want to support the channel and you want to get uh, access to some pretty cool exclusive features, and this has been pretty much it. Feel free to like if you enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. So yeah, thank you for watching. Son of Tech, signing out. Cheers.